Hello, Michael Tracy here, TYT, mixing it up a little bit today. Um, this video is a promo for an interview I did over on the TYT Interviews channel. Obviously, it will be linked in the description box. Um, the interview is with Rick Dobwin, who is the founder and executive director of MAPS. Uh, MAPS is an acronym for the multi Multidisciplinary Association of Psycho. Oh, God, I'm messing up the, the full acronym now, but I had it in front of me when I did the interview. So um, basically, the the full uh, the, uh, the, the, the organization is devoted to psychedelic science research and um, popularizing the utility of psychedelic drugs. Um, it's Rick Doblin is somebody who I've been an admirer of for much of my life now. Um, he is um, somebody who is extremely prescient about the benefits that psychedelic drugs could confer for much of the population. Um, obviously, there's a big stigma around psychedelic drug use. Um, thankfully, that stigma has reduced somewhat, primarily because um, the uses of it in a medical context have been substantiated by a multitude now of highly controlled scientific studies, um, the most recent being in December of last year when uh, researchers at NYU Langone did uh, you know, a double-blind study testing the efficacy of psilocybin mushrooms or uh, of psilocybin, which is the active property in so-called magic mushrooms, on um, people with terminal Ill illnesses. Um, it found that with a remarkable rate of effectiveness um, that psilocybin did most definitely re uh, alleviate depression in people who were suffering from fatal illnesses. And um, something that Rick Doblin and I talked about in this interview is what the trajectory is in terms of taking the benefits that have now been corroborated in a medical context and making it more society-wide because you don't have to be hobbled by cancer or uh, you know in the throes of extreme depression in order to benefit enormously from these drugs. Uh, so it was a real thrill to get to talk to Rick. Um, the interview is about 50 minutes. Um, I mentioned at one point that it was my uh, intention to go a full interview without uh, saying the word Trump. Um, but unfortunately, that did come up um, just because the government has a role in facilitating scientific research, um, namely the federal government. And um, I think there are legitimate concerns over whether uh, psychedelic uh, drugs are going to be, continue to receive monetary support from government sources uh, in terms of further study. Rick Doblin doesn't seem to think that that should be uh, particularly worrying for a variety of reasons. So hopefully we'll be continue to see psychedelics tested under, um, you know, rigorous conditions and their, um, and their uses will be promulgated um, to the public. Rick actually hypothesizes that within 15 years, um, we may well end up seeing something resembling psych psychedelic clinics that people can obtain some kind of uh, prescription for and go uh, to and um, in, in their local community in, in, in a controlled setting with professionals on, uh, on the scene um, be provided with psychedelic drugs, psilocybin in particular, uh, perhaps MDMA, and... Um, you know, to, and it root out some of the trauma that uh, makes their life a lot more difficult to lead. Um, you know, the reason why I was compelled to, to do this interview and why I've been kind of a quiet proponent of this for a long time now is because there's just there's just such enormous potential there to reduce suffering uh, among uh, people who don't really see a way to um, quell their symptoms that they are mired with um you know it's uh, d depression is a very intractable ailment for a lot of people um there's never uh, there, there, there's seldom a very straightforward treatment regimen that is you know universally regarded as effective um so uh you know uh, 
what really needs to happen is that the stigma needs to be reduced around the use of these drugs. You know, it's not inherently recreational. Uh, it's not because you're some kind of, I don't know, psychonaut that you, um, that you, that you uh, would, would seek out these experiences, although obviously those subcultures do exist. But really, I, 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 I try to encourage viewing this subject through the prism of, of uh, therapy or, or through therapeutic uses rather than recreational kind of use. Um, and I think Rick Doblin affirms that that view. And um, you know, we talk about all this stuff at, at pretty pretty great length. So I, I would encourage anybody who is interested to check out the full interview. Um, I make a uh, statement as to my own experiences uh, that some of you might find mildly interesting. Um, and that is it. Uh, let me know what you think of the interview if you do end up watching. And have a wonderful day.